You guys know the animated movie uh, Sing and uh, also the sequel Sing 2. You know, like uh, these uh, animals, they uh, sing from the competition and stuff. Yeah, there was like uh, some people being very disrespectful to uh, one of the voice actresses, uh, Tori Kelly. She voiced uh, with the elephant character. And one of the people, uh, Kyle Tre Tremblay, uh, she was uh, one of those, those haters, uh, being quite disrespectful, and uh, apparently, uh, yeah, they just didn't like the character, and decided to uh, hate the character, hate the voice actress too. So they were being uh, quite disrespectful. And, uh, well, people came across uh, Tori Kelly because of that movie. She actually uh, had the discography that uh, lasted quite way longer, and um, way before the Sing and Sing Two uh, even uh, existed. And yeah, of course, uh, yeah, you know, he said we don't like her, and uh, you can say you don't like the character because, of course, we don't have. We have like a TV show or a movie where we don't like the certain character. Maybe because of uh, how the character looks or maybe the characteristics. Mostly it's the characteristics. But uh, just because the character didn't uh, meet their expectation, uh, they decided, uh, oh, the voice actress uh, must be the, act the same way as the, as the character and uh, decided to uh, harass and cyberbully. And bully uh, Tori Kelly in public and online just because of that. And uh, I, I uh, for me, regarding Tori Kelly, I came across her uh, when uh, Tori Kelly uh, worked with uh, Elenium, the emotional music uh, producer uh, Elenium, uh, real name uh, Nick Miller. Or his uh, full actual name, Nicholas uh, Miller. Uh, he they wrote a song uh, called uh, "Blame Myself," which was off uh, Nick's uh, Fallen Embers uh, album. And yeah, uh, they also did like a sort of a dubstep uh, remix uh, for it, uh, where uh, hmm? the song was uh, written uh, by, you know, produced by uh, Nick, written by. Uh, Singer songwriter Emily Warren. But Tori Kelly, uh, she was a vocalist uh, and she also uh, did her part and uh, she uh, was the singer for that uh, song. And uh, there was a Garden of Dust uh, remix. Uh, not everyone uh, liked that remix. Uh, Nick did uh, collaborated with uh, the Jobs of DJ uh, Virtual Riot, and uh, and it was on uh, Fallen Ember's uh, extended album, which did like uh, four new songs or five new songs. Uh. So Nick uh, also got to work with uh, Thirty Seconds of Mars, uh, Banners, uh, Emma Grace. Uh, Said the sky again, though. So, so said the sky. Real name, uh, Chris, uh, Trevor Christensen. Yeah, he constant common uh, collaborator. Uh, I think he got to work with them, and yeah, I'll do with that remix of songs. So there were like five songs uh, added on. A lot of people were harassing. Uh, Tori Kelly uh, in uh, oh, online and in public uh, because of saying too, uh, and uh, they, they don't like that character. Uh, they were liking some, uh, I believe it was some gorilla character. Uh, they favored that character. They hated Tori Kelly's character, the elephant character. And they uh, literally decided to just bully her and yeah. And, you know, they don't uh, really listen to uh, Tori Kelly's uh, discography. Uh, 
what kind of music she makes. Uh, and her uh, collab with uh, Elenium you know, was pretty good. And also her uh, two other, uh, the two other remixes, uh, which was on Fallen Embers, uh, the remixes album. Nick decided to work with um, Eula. He does uh, melodic bass and melodic dubstep. He uh, he's assigned to Monster Cat. That label. They don't really like dubstep, but they uh, like melodic dubstep and melodic bass a lot. And also. Uh, the, Another uh, remix uh, by uh, LGBT uh, DJ More Kismet, which he likes to uh, rap as well. But yeah, uh, he can do dubstep, and uh, he signed to Excision's uh, subsidiary label. And yeah, he did a melodic uh, bass cover and uh, remix to it. And yeah, both versions were fine. And everyone liked like both of those. The original Eula remix, more Kismet remix, and of course uh, some uh, people who liked the uh, Elenium and Virtual Riot uh, remix. Uh, and you know, this song was actually uh, pretty good. Uh, one of my favorites off uh, next uh, Fallen Ember's album, which was uh, I believe it was his fourth album. He had like uh, for some first album, we only had like uh, four songs on it. Uh, not many people know about it. Uh, and then he had uh, Ashes uh, album, and then uh, Awake, and then Ascend, and then he had uh, Fallen Numbers just last year. And uh, he's going to release some uh, album uh, sometime next year. He released um, uh, several songs. Uh, that's uh, worth uh, a listen. So I literally tried to toy with them, uh, and you know, come on, just uh, you know, if you really hate like the voice actors, uh, but uh, you've never listened to music, you hate the character, but you never heard of the voice actor or actress, uh, and that person is the musician. The point that I wanted to give him was uh, just listen to the song and like. No, make your decision off uh, her song and not uh, that movie. And yeah, he uh, decided to be very disrespectful and uh, and decided to uh, curse at me and uh, tell me to shut the fuck up and such. And you no, know? he didn't even bother to listen to her music. Uh, it's about her music that the people should be focusing on and not the role she uh, she did on there. Uh, now just the role, role she did uh, in that movie uh, she did uh, does not represent uh, the person she actually is and these people were so stupid to not realize that. And, uh, and literally uh, that song that should, they should, people should have checked out uh, no, by Nick, Tori, Emily, Virtual Riot, Eula, and more Kismet. You know, that's uh, disrespectful. Just listen. You're a musician. You know, base them off their, uh, you know, their music, not uh, their acting role, because there are. You know, even if you listen to the discography, yeah, based your decision off that, and uh, how good, and also uh, any good things that she did on, uh, and yet they're just uh, so uh, well, full of uh, self hatred, and this is why you know, you know this new generation, uh, they just look at them character and. Uh, off of some TV show or movie and uh, based their decisions off that person uh, you know, what they don't like about the character and assume that the person uh, who's in a voice acting or actor voice actor you know, is like that in real life 
And especially if they do have a discography, yeah, that's just disrespectful.